Hi, welcome to Nerd Culture. I'm Armand Gutierrez. Today with me I have... Genevieve Marie. And Genevieve is cosplaying as a Kill a Kill character. Which character? Sotsky Kirion. Sotsky. She's, wait, she's the villain, isn't she? I don't want to give anything away. Okay, then... There's some spoilers there. All right, then some spoilers. <laughs> um, so, uh, how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, I've been cosplaying for eight years. Um, I've been doing it professionally for about three maybe and then um, so doing it professionally what's the difference between doing it as a hobby and doing it professionally then uh, professionally pretty much you have to go through the, the process of well I have my own photographer I keep everything in-house and I make sure everything is PC rather than using random photographers work uh, because I mean getting the permission and, and the rights and stuff is you know, you just want to you want to be professional about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I uh, I have my own photographer. I do um, some small commissions on the side for people for their own cosplays. I also sell things like hair bows, jewelry, and uh, you know, crafty like yeah. things that are a little less expensive for people than Warbla armor and you right. know, all that kind of stuff. So speaking of um, accessories, what what did you have to put together to do the bra and panty set to be your character? Oh, um, this one was actually uh, because my photographer uh, finally had a weekend off and we hadn't shot something for a while. And um, I'm a huge Kill a Kill fan and so I was like, this has to happen. And so I was thinking, I'm like, what costume? is going to be the easiest for me to throw together. I already had a Ryuko, but I wanted to do Satsuki. Um, and I was like, obviously new to speech. So I already had the guns from, and, the, and the holsters from my Black Widow costume. Oh, okay. So those you just unscrew off. And then I made, I made a whole shoulder harness rigging. Um, that was really easy. Yeah. I just hand sewed it together. Didn't want to bother with the machine. Uh, I whipped up a quick belt on the machine, and uh, I went out and bought actually camera cases oh, okay. for the for the uh, front pouch. Yeah, for the front pouches and stuff. Because in the cartoon, they just look like sort of square blobs. Yeah. And they don't really have that much of de you know they don't have detail to go off of. Right. So it really wasn't that hard. And then. Just underneath, I used a, a bra, and then I made a little swimsuit bottom. Got it. Um, so, how how does it feel, um, or how do you know the difference between a um, a professional, I want to say, skin model versus somebody who does, um, I guess, I guess, full on costuming? What's the difference that you have to keep in mind? Um. Well, I do both. Oh, okay. Um, this is not the norm for me. Um, this one is probably my most revealing costume that I have. Um, so I don't think there's really a difference, just as long as there's a certain artistry used to, you know, make the make the costume and to make sure that everything is, uh, as we call it, canon. Um, but uh, this is exactly what she wears. It looks exactly like the costume she wears. So, but other people who do uh, probably like mashups, I guess you'd say, where it's just like this is like poison ivy, but in her lingerie. Or right. Like, uh, I mean, I don't see, I don't really see a difference in it. I think it's all about preference and you know what you want to do. Sometimes it's just about showing off, like showing off your body and being like this is my body I'm really proud of it or you know sometimes a lot of cosplayers I know I myself have like a strict diet and wow. uh, and like a workout regimen not just for cosplay of course I, I'm also an actress on the side as well um, and I also have quite a, a uh, whatchamacallit an, a physically involved job mm -hmm. at Disney oh, okay. and so you, you have to stay you know in peak shape or else you're you're gonna hurt yourself right right and uh, it's always better not you know just to go that extra mile to make sure that you're safe but at the same time like I was saying like sometimes it's just about showing off like the work that you've done and 
you know, being proud. I know a lot of cosplayers actually that have lost weight, like tons of weight, not even, not just like, you know, 10 or 15 pounds, but like, you know, 40, 50, 60 pounds. Like and huge amounts. Huge amounts of weight. And, you know, you got to be proud of that. You, uh, you have to be happy, you know, getting, you know, back into shape, getting healthy. Right. And, um, you know, sometimes for them, the reward is wearing outfits that they normally wouldn't feel comfortable in. Yeah. Or that maybe unfairly, I would say, that people would, you know, be mean to them about if they wore it, if they were still had the 60 pounds on them, you know? Um, so it just, it depends. There's a lot of different motivations. There's, yeah. there's a lot of different reasons why you do it. Of course, a lot of people also do it, you know, for, you know, professional reasons to sell prints and stuff. Of course, you know, some sex sells. Sometimes it looks more attractive to have, you know, uh, Mary Jane in her underwear rather than in like a skirt and a top. Although I do really uh, like the tops that they always I, put with skirts because yeah. they're always flowy, but yeah, that's just me. Absolutely. I, but, you know, and also there's fan art out there that people like riff off of. I did a Supergirl costume yesterday that was a fan art by Art Germ and it was a Justice Magazine cover. So she oh. has like a little... Um, like a handkerchief top and then like a... Oh, okay. Then, yeah, and then like a set of pants and stuff. So it's more of like a fashion look. It's more of a, a Vogue look. And, and that one I really love. It's not like, it's not a canon Supergirl outfit, but at the same time... People recognize it people and it's fun. People recognize it and they're like, oh, that's great. And then with these, um, you know, the bombshell, DC bombshell girls? Yes, yes, I do. they're all, you know, they're all in their pinup outfits. Right. And stuff. Those are... Those are adorable. Yeah, my yeah. wife loves pinup. Those are yeah, I know a lot of people here are huge pinup fans, and and that's also another thing that a lot of us are pinup fans, and you know sometimes we just want to harken back to that style and that age of you know sort of glamour. You know, you're in your underwear, but it's glamorous. It's right. Pretty. It's you know, it's just so rich, and. You know, that's also another reason sure. why why we do it. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Janine. Uh, this was a great interview. Uh, where can people find your work? Uh, you can find me at Genevieve Marie Cosplay on Facebook, Genevieve Marie Cosplay on Instagram, and Genevieve Nylon on Twitter. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll see you, everyone, next time. Bye. Bye.